okay i have opened uh, visio microsoft visio and now we are going to open organization chart over here and if you see here you have uh, four options this is empty blank uh, output blank file and this is a diff different uh, style or layout and this one rounded and this one right so there are three uh, first let me open this one just to give you a introduction about the organograms or organization charts so this is how it will look like where you will have the top in the top uh, uh, see you on the top hierarchy and then we have managers and if you see here each is having different color as well right color and uh, uh, style as well uh, another thing is you can add picture in this so let me show you how you can add a picture just click that uh, object and click picture and that's it you got the picture as well right and then you can add more managers let's say for example if i need more managers so i will just drop it on to home it has to report so it will automatically create a link right then you can move where you want and same way for executives and then you have for consultant and this is for staff so let's say for example there is a staff required over here you can create it here and this is just one one and if you let's say for example okay let me remove this one to create space because this is help you can read and you can just delete and multiple shapes if i have to create under this it is asking how many shapes uh, these are shapes right different type of shapes so let's say for example staff he has four staff okay so it created four staff hierarchy and then you can add any title uh, title with date up to you right mm. okay there is another concept of team frame so let's say for example uh, there are different departments but uh, let me show you sometimes uh, within your company you create different uh, teams uh, teams or teams for small projects or, or limited projects because they are from different um, uh, departments but uh, you combine them to uh, do certain tasks let's say for example few people from finance few people from uh, sales department it department and then that is a team right so that is uh, a teaming you can use uh, team frame right another thing is let me now show you on the top you can have different layouts up to you not changing it let it keep uh, layout just relayout it will just re, uh, do the relayout and this is best fit to the page okay okay this is for spacing if you want to add space you want to reduce space same way this is for height okay this is to reduce height it depends on your requirements okay this is to insert pictures and uh, this i will just discuss shortly and this one is uh, for shapes so you can change shapes as well okay okay there is another question now let's say for example i am able to see name and title right and there are other fields as well so let's say for example department and uh, email cell phone okay to get those on uh, added on this shape you can just go to the shapes in our chart and then you can click this option display option okay and in this you can go to the fields and if you see here i have different departments department email name is already there i don't want to add okay so let me add the feature special display may not fit okay yes see now those are added so if you want to increase weights you can increase weights right up to you there are different uh, okay this is like this 
this one like this okay so now you got the idea what exactly this uh, org chart is providing us and now let me link this with uh, an excel file okay so for that what i will do i will create a new chart maybe let's see this one because it has more entries and create right the first question is uh, how to uh, get a template for in excel right the very first thing is so for that what you do just you can have this one so let's say for example let me do something over here this is name title etc so you can go to this org chart menu and then export and here you will type your uh, excel file name and it will give you sample data uh, sample data as you can see this is the same data which is appearing over here so it will show name 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 for all executive assistant corporate vice president all these things will be there right and in department only in department department will be there so let me do it uh, i have created one folder let me show you that Right. I have already uh, created a template, but let me create one more test, right? Just to show you. So this is exported, and now I will go to my folder. And if you see here, this is my test. Let me, right? That's it. So I have created another template in that I have just removed this ID from here and from here because this is for reporting hierarchy and email etc and this is for that shape type of the shape which you want to display for that place so let me open it so this is my file now right so if you see here these two positions are reporting to this position right and this is the shape so this is for ceo and uh, down one and then three like this right so now how you want to uh, display them or which type of shape you want you can just change in the front end and you can export you will find its number as well so nothing to worry okay this is the title this is the phone number if you want to display okay now we have to close this file otherwise you can't import okay i have closed and one more thing i have kept these uh, images which I want to show over there since I had only one image so I just renamed it with my ID this is my unique ID even you can do with the email you can do with name or whatever it is depending on your level or complexity or the volume of your chart but I did for with the ID and the only thing you need is uh, let's say for example even with ID you need ID dot jpg the file name should be there and in one folder so let us import now now this is sample now i will create a new org chart and blank right so it is giving me this wizard because since i have blank and this is my text file you can even link with the active directory you can link to database uh, odbc if you have so i will be linking this with the excel file okay this is my excel file right same this one visio template okay next now it will read that excel file and these are different selections you can do the, the way you want report to this is my column name and these are the, all the columns which were there in that excel file next and here you have certain selections which column you want which you don't want you can add you can remove you can even change their appearance a sequence next i'm not changing it over anything here okay now here is the match picture based on so here you can even change that one so, so since i have id with uh, with the uh, picture name so i will use it as a unique id okay next and i want the wizard to automatically break my organization chart across pages after this okay finish right 
so now this uh, file is created and only challenge is uh, let's say for example if if we will change anything in the excel it will not get updated over here so even if we go to data this refresh is not there so now we are going to link this with the, our excel file so when we will have refresh from here it will get refresh from the excel file right so for that what we have to do we will go to data custom import next and from here we have to select our file next this is the sheet name where we have the data right all columns are data nothing to change here and this is our unique key this you have to uh, check right primary key next and finish so if you see here this is our data now it is showing here exactly same but it is still not linked with our arc chart this organization chart still it is even if we refresh it will not make any change now for that what we have to do we have to now select this so for that first select all these shapes control a then go to link data select shape selected shapes so selected shapes all all shapes on this page both options are there so i have since i have selected so i will just go with the first one and here i have to select which is our common key that is unique id you can call it employee id or whatever this is unique id right so data column this and now you have just you can see here in this uh, unique id next on the left side it is blank right because it is still not linked so now we are going to click next and finish right now if you see here it is showing like it is linked so these rows are linked with these shapes right so now if we will click here refresh it will refresh from the excel file i will change some data over there but now here we have this uh, you know this extra field which is unique id it is also showing over here so we can hide this as well select all and go to advanced data graphics and none right. i don't need that okay. now this window you can even hide this window from here right and uh, data graphics fields which are on the right side so all options over here so now let me change some data in my excel file right so for example let me do something all right this is my data and let me go like this and this as well right good so what i will do now Uh, anyway <clears throat> so for example uh, if you see here i have these names now let me remove these names right i have removed these names from here and save and other than id i'm putting department i think we are showing department there right sales sales department right control s and on the right window now i will refresh right see everything got updated so this excel file now it is linked with this uh, organization chart and yes you can click on this so now let me put some names over here so for example i'm just putting vacant means no one is there control s it is saved and on the right side i will click refresh it is vacant and if you see here it also got updated right so now this is a connectivity uh, available with your excel file and whenever any change you can add it over there now let me do one thing over here just to show 
now what i will do i will just add 14 will it create another one just control c control v second xxx that's it xxx i feel it will only refresh but it will not create new control s let's see this is 14 number right okay okay so new uh, shape will not be created and in the excel file it is there see it is not linked to anything the only thing is in uh, available sh uh, shapes the data will get updated or refreshed right i hope so it will help you in creating your uh, organization chart and you can oh, sorry uh, this is Okay, uh, I think we have already discussed all these things. These are these options we have discussed. And now let me do one more thing. Port. What? Being used by another service. Okay, once Excel file is opened, it will not import. Let me just close this. And next. Next, next, next. Finish. Right? So if you see here, now this is there. But this 14 number, it is not showing as a linked. Now let us try again. Data, let's see. See, it is now, it is now linked, right? So one time you have to do this uh, import. import. Import will create, if there is any new, shape so now again this is appearing so for that we will click over here but for that you need to select and okay white please share your feedback thank you very much and allah hafiz